I have to tell you, as I said, I've, I've been going through an evolution on this issue. Um, I've always been adamant that uh, gay and lesbian uh, Americans should be treated fairly and equally. Uh, and that's why, in addition to everything we've done in this administration, rolling back Don't Ask, Don't Tell, uh, so that uh, you know, outstanding Americans can serve our country, uh, whether it's no longer defending the Defense Against Marriage Act, which uh, tried to federalize uh, what has historically been state law, uh, I've stood on the side of broader equality for uh, the LGBT community. Um, and I had hesitated on gay marriage, uh, in part because I thought civil unions would be sufficient, that that was something that would give people hospital visitation rights and uh, other uh, elements that we take for granted. Uh, and uh, I was sensitive to the fact that uh, for a lot of people, you know, the, the word marriage was something that evokes very powerful traditions, religious beliefs, and so forth. Um, but I have to tell you that over the course of uh, several years, as I talk to friends and family and neighbors, uh, when I think about uh, members of my own staff who are in incredibly committed monogamous relationships, same-sex relationships, who are raising kids together, uh, when I think about uh, those soldiers or airmen or Marines or uh, sailors who are out there fighting on my behalf uh, and yet feel constrained even now that Don't Ask, Don't Tell is gone because uh, they're not able to uh, commit themselves in a marriage. Uh, at a certain point I've just concluded that um, for me personally it is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married.